nữa ha What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Happy 2020. It is 2020. It is January 6th. It is a whole new year, a whole new decade, and I cannot believe literally how fast it went by. Literally, like I blinked and all of a sudden we're in 2020. But it's going to be a good year. I thought this would be a perfect time to kind of make a video of a yearly recap. I don't think it's going to be very long of a video. It's just going to be kind of like the big substantial things that had happened for me in 2020 or 2019 and just kind of like a yearly recap. So if you guys are interested in this video, please like and subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you are notified every single time I upload a video. And without further ado, let's jump on into my yearly recap of 2019. So the first thing, January 2019, I passed, or I graduated nursing school. So it has been almost an entire year since I graduated from nursing school and it is literally mind blowing how fast this year went by. February 14th, 2019, I passed my NCLEX. I uh, will remember that day like it was freaking yesterday because it was one of the most nerve wracking wanting to throw up, excited, just all feelings combined into one in this big ball of pit in my stomach. And it was great. I passed my NCLEX and I couldn't be more excited. I literally found out maybe two hours later, my license was already on the board of nursing. I was a nurse. I was a registered nurse after hell, going through hell in school. And it was one of the best days of my life. Shortly after that, I had, um, I think it was after that, I had my first interview for my first RN job. So I had two interviews. I had one on a neurotrauma unit and I had another one on mom baby. And they were two separate hospitals, but they were for the, they were both for the same star in program, like a residency program that I'm in right now. So I interviewed for both. Funny enough, I didn't get either, but the hospital that I interviewed for for neural trauma called me and offered me a job on their oncology unit. So, you know, I obviously took it with, ex you know, I was so excited because I was freaking out that I didn't get either of the jobs, but they called me and offered me a different, a job on a different unit at the same hospital. So I, that's where I'm still at. I am still working as a registered nurse on a medical oncology unit. So I accepted my first RN job, started the RN residency program, which was a year long. So I'm actually still in that program, but I'm about to graduate soon. And um, so the first five weeks I was in the star in program. And then I started my preceptorship, which was five weeks long, not nearly long enough. <laughs> what else April we celebrated our fourth wedding anniversary May we I'm pretty sure it was May we put down a deposit on a new build home which was so exciting so we got to watch it literally from the ground up our watch our house be built we got to pick out everything that we wanted so our house is literally everything that we could have ever dreamed for it is a little farther than I would like it to be but we at least got a decent house for a de decent price in the state of Colorado. So <clears throat> June, I turned 23 and then July, August, my husband, um, got a job at a fire department. So he went through his fire academy. He got a job as firefighter, which I was so excited for because if any of you have watched your significant other try and get a job as a firefighter it is one of the hardest things that you could possibly do career-wise because it is so hard to get into a department so hard so we interviewed for a couple different departments and he finally got one and i'm so happy for him um let's see august 
September. God, when did we move into this house? Um, I don't remember exactly when. But our house was complete. Oh, hello. Hello. Coda turned four this year. Yes, he did. Big old man. Yes. Um. Trying to fix. There we go. Um. What else? We moved into our house. And then. What else? What else? What else? This year, me and my husband actually started trying to have a baby. Back in May, we are still currently trying. No luck, so please send me all your baby vibe. Just send it to me. <laughs> Pray for us. I am ready to be a mommy. Um, what else? Uh, later in the year, I was actually trained to be a relief charge nurse which was pretty pretty crazy i'm still actually really nervous about doing it i've been i've been doing it for a couple weeks now um so i do it relief so you know i'll still have my days working and taking six patients and then other days i'm charge nurse so <clears throat> it's actually a good balance i like doing both so i did that what else December would make a year since we moved back to Colorado. So that's super exciting. I just feel like this whole year for me and my husband was all about our career. Getting, getting our lives started back in Colorado and starting our dream careers. Me as a registered nurse, him as a firefighter. And this year was huge for us career-wise just lifestyle wise you know we bought a house we got our jobs and it was very um it was a busy year <coughs> and i couldn't be more thankful and grateful for the opportunities that have been brought to us in the year of 2019 and i'm so excited to see what 2020 holds for us because last year was career this year I'm hoping it's all about family and I pray to God that I get pregnant this year. And if you guys would like to see a video, oh, let me get my lighting. If you guys would like to see a video about um, like our trying to conceive journey right now and what I've kind of been going through and what we've been going through, I would love to make a video. I think I probably will anyways, but if you'd like to see that video, make a comment down below. Let me know that you would be interested in seeing that. I will also be making a video of a yearly update from graduating nursing school because it's been a year already. So kind of update you guys on how I'm feeling and how this last year has been as a new nurse. Um, I can't think of anything else. I mean, a lot of stuff has happened this year, but those are the things that really stick out to me between both me and my husband so that was a quick short video for you guys just a quick yearly recap of what happened in the year 2019 and there's a lot of things to be thankful and grateful for right now so however but if you guys have a new year's resolution please leave it down in the comments below so i can cheer you on and i think that's it you guys i think that wraps up this yearly recap Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys in my next video.